and so many memories with this scheme. But this uh, picture right here, why don't you talk about this picture right here, uh, uh, your win here, and yeah. it's very special to do it with your bro. Yeah, this was... Uh, John Andretti looks to capitalize. They come to the trioval and head for the line. And Terry Labonte will pick up his 19th Winston Cup win of the Sears. I tried to turn the switch off, and I had my hand off the steering wheel trying to turn the switch off when I hit the wall. That's why I broke my hand. Heading onto the track now, the current Winston Cup point leader, Texas, Terry Labonte. It has been an adventure so far. Injured his left hand about three minutes into practice yesterday. Is there a question that you might not be able to go all the way? No, I'm going all the way. They got a little cushion and cup that will fit inside of his hand to keep it from moving any more than it has to. We started back in the backup car. If there is a racetrack that favors people who start in the back, Phoenix is it. Look at Terry Labonte on the bottom there. That hand must be doing pretty well for him. He's really coming up. showed how strong our team was. I mean, our team was so good. That'll be Derek Combe and then Johnny Benson, who is the last car on the lead lap. Trouble, front straight away. Presley and Jimmy Spencer collide and slam into the wall. They have been racing hard for two, three laps, and they're in the pit. This is going to be a race back to the flag. That's who's going to win the Texas race, I think, man. It could very well end the race as they race back here because they might not be able to get this cleaned up in time.
He's out in front now on the white flag lap here in the 2003 Southern 500. Half a lap to go. It's going to be a popular win. Oh, it's just going to be popular. You're going to see the crews out on pit road applauding him. The other drivers giving him congratulations. Two-time Winston Cup champion Terry Labonte at age 46 will take the checkered flag and win the 54th Southern 500. That's pretty cool. seconds over Kevin Harvick. Terry led 33 laps today. They were the ones that counted most. Matt? I don't know what to say. I really don't. Happy for Terry. Really happy for him. I guess I stand to be correct. He be. might be going to do some donuts. Or he might be asking to get the checkered flag from starter Jimmy Howell. That's what he's asking for. He said, I want that last, uh, that last checkered flag. Look at it. They're throwing it down to him. All right. So it'll be like a Saturday night short track victory yeah. lap, but it's in Darlington in the yeah. Southern yeah. 500. Cool! Good that boy, Jerry! That's better than burnout. Everybody else does burnouts. Give me that checkered flag. Yeah. Terry and his team in the number five Monte Carlo. Terry will tell you the only thing that comes close to Monte Carlo's reputation on the track, reputation on the street. More champions depend on our here in victory lane at Darlington. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Mountain Dew Southern 500, Terry Labonte. I'm sure you could hear the fans. You heard Jim Long on the radio. Congratulations, Terry. A very impressive win. Well, thanks. Uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, Got to thank Kellogg's, uh, our sponsor, sticking with us. Uh, we were on a losing streak with mail there for a while, and uh, I think we got it behind us now. And thanks Chevrolet and, uh, and Quaker State and GMAC and uh, everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. So uh, what an awesome car. Uh, Jim Long, these guys did a great job. Our pit stops were awesome. That's what Devil won the race for us. We got out front there, and uh, they worked on my tires a little bit there in the last set, and aired them up a little bit, and uh, it was pretty fast. So uh, just a great day for us, and I'm sure I forgot to thank somebody, but, uh, you know, I just can't say enough about this team and uh, Rick Hendrick and all the guys at Hendrick Motorsports. And, uh, Terry, there comes a point in every athlete's career when they wonder if they're going to be part of another winning moment again. Did that thought ever cross your mind? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously you kept you hung in there you hung tough and rick stayed behind you and these guys and you got back at one of the toughest tracks on the circuit well we felt like uh, we were just a lot better team than we were a year ago the guys in the fab shop are doing a great job building those cars this year and uh you know we've uh, had some good runs and uh you know we've had some pretty good finish finishes and uh, we've been a lot more consistent than we've been a year ago so uh this is uh this is pretty exciting uh Win the last Southern 500 down here Labor Day weekend is pretty cool. I was wishing it had stayed hot all day, though. But, uh, uh, thank all the fans down here at Darlington. What a great place. And uh, just a great day for our Kellogg's team. Congratulations, Terry. Terry Labonte in victory lane. There's his wife, Kim, joining in.